Hi, welcome back. I'd just like to say thank you to all those who have subscribed over the last week or so. Really appreciate it. I'm on my way to 70 subscribers, so I think what I'll do is I'll aim for 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So back to the filter. Uh, so we're carrying on from the Halloween uh, vomit effect we did last week. Uh, this week I've now added in some um, eyes. We've got an image version and a shader version. And then I've also added in an image to the mesh. So I'll just quickly press play on this so you can see. Oh, ah, there you go. So we've got um, on this eye here on the right, we've got an image and on the left eye, we've got the um, eyeball shader. And then you can see my lips are a bit red with some poor drawing. And then my eyes are a bit darker around the edges because I've added in some uh, darkening to a PNG. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and build that all over again together. Beautiful. Right. Let's go back to the old project. So here we are. There's Charles. Thank you, Charles. So peas and carrots is where we're carrying on from. That's what we did last time. Next, we're going to add in the eyeballs. So how do we do that? Really simple. Uh, go into the uh, add assets, search the AR library, go to the 3D shapes, scroll to the bottom right hand side. You have the eyeball double tap and add to your project. Next bit is now add that 3D object to your face tracker. Perfect. Next thing to do, go to your face tracker and then from the face, add the patch eyeball. Done. With the eyeball selected on the left hand side and on the right hand side under transform, tap position for the patch and rotation for the patch. Back in the patch editor itself, uh, under the, hmm, let's go for left, left eye center, add the position and then add the left eyeball rotation to the uh, 3D rotation of your object. See now you can see it's instantly added it to the eye. So what we'll do now, is we're just gonna add a material to that eye. So eyeball mat, and I shall now add the eyeball texture, which I've already imported, and there you go, done. So now let's do another version of that. So we'll keep the left eye as it is, but let's update the right eye. So on the left hand side, I'm going to copy and paste the eye using the same material. You know the you know the trick. Reuse everything as much as you can. Right, there we go. So it's floating in space at the moment because it doesn't have any positioning. So this new eye, I'm going to do exactly the same before. I'm going to add in to the patch position and rotation. So position. I'll set to the right eye and the rotation I'll set to the uh, right eye as well. There you go. So we now have the same eyes. Looks pretty cool, but we can have some more fun with that. Right. So under the right eye, I'm now just going to add a new material. Right. I'll just rename it to oh, I underscore R. Done. Right. So now you can see we've just got a simple shader. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the shader property from diffuse and we're going to tap the texture option to generate a patch for that. I think we'll just pause Charles for a moment. OK, next we're now going to apply the eyeball shader. So how do we add the eyeball shader into the patch editor? So it's not a normal search. If you did a normal search for it, it's not going to come up. You've actually got to go into the uh, search the AR library and then under patch assets and then under browse eyeball shader third along double tap add it to your project then left hand side under assets under uh, the folder patches drag the eyeball shader to your uh, patch area now you have the ability to modify your eye without having to do an image. Now, there's sort of two games going here. This allows you just to make very particular changes and change control and scale 
using colors, right? So this is really good. However, you can still do the image option, hence why I've done the image option, because I wanted to show you both. So we'll just drag that to the right eye and press play. And there you go. Well, that is quite disturbing. Now, the one thing I've noticed about the eyeball uh, tracking is it doesn't actually detect if your eyes close terribly well. So there's a little bit of dodginess going on there, but I'm sure as time goes on, that will get upgraded. Right, now let's move on to the face mesh. So back over to the right, uh, left-hand side, select the face mesh and select the uh, material. And then under diffuser or under the shader property, uh, select your image. Now I've already imported mine, so I've added it. It's not appeared because it's set to transparency because that was what the previous settings were. So they are 100%, but it's set to add. I need to set to alpha. And there you go. Now I'll quickly just jump over to Pixel Matter to show you what those elements look like. So I just use the normal Facebook template for the shader. Uh, really cool, very simple. I've just cut it in on here. I used a couple of elements from it as a guide. And then you have a wireframe guide as well, which is really handy. And then also here's my eyeball. Again, you can download this from uh, Facebook, really simple. That's the default eye. And then I've just created another um, radial gradient myself. Right. So that's it guys. Those are the changes I've made for the um, Halloween special. Uh, next week I will be adding in the hair. Right. Thanks for stopping by guys. Good night.